Hello, today we will be discussing how to draw vector parallelograms. Over here is an example um, taken from the 2011 Combined Physics paper. A girl is actually strapped into two support poles. Her weight weighs downwards, but these two elastic strings pull upwards. Together, they should provide a perfect vertical force counter to the girl's weight. So, let's see how to do the vector diagram. You can see that in this question, the first part has already been drawn for you, where um, there is a 60 degree angle and there are two lines. This is obviously the pull of the elastic rope. The elastic rope um, pulls in this direction and this direction. Therefore, we draw single arrow lines to indicate their directions. And also, we can also indicate the magnitude of the forces, which is, which is 400 newtons for each um, direction. The first thing we need to do is, um, is actually to pick a proper scale ratio as to how many cm represents how many newtons. I will now use a ruler to check what is the length of this line over here. It looks like it is 7 cm. So I feel that a line of 8 cm will actually be a good range and then allow me to draw a diagram upwards in order to meet and get for me the vector parallelogram. So 8 cm will represent 400 newtons for me. 8 cm represents 400 newtons for me. Therefore, my final uh, scale ratio will be 1 cm is to 400 divided by 8, which gets me 50 newtons. Given that this one is 400 newtons, I will need to draw the length of the line that represents 400 newtons. Since, since 1 cm represents 50 newtons, 8 cm will represent 400 newtons. And therefore, I need to draw a line that is 8 cm long. So it ends here. This one is also 400 newtons. Therefore, I will also draw a line that is 8 cm long. I personally like to label these lines as well, the length that I've drawn them. So here I will write down 8 cm, and here I'll write down 8 cm. It is to be noted that the that this is a force diagram, which means that the forces are the ones that are the most important, and labeling the length of it is actually slightly less important. Next, I will need to make a parallelogram, which means this line has to be parallel, has to be parallel to this next line, which is the working line. The set square method. Over here, I will use two rulers instead, and you can do so also if you are in a pinch. Uh, for the first ruler, line up to the line which you want to uh, make a parallel line to. For example, like this, I need to make a parallel line over here. So I will put the ruler flat against the um, end of the first ruler. Now, doing so, I will hold this ruler tight and I can run this ruler down. I'll run this ruler down all the way until I meet this point over here. And then I can use my pencil to draw myself a parallel line. This working line has to be 8 cm long as well, which I will now measure and draw an 8 cm long line ending around here. I would now do the same for the other line over here. If we have done it correctly, then the length of this line will be the length of this line. The length of this line will be the length of this line. Okay? Therefore, if I measure this line now, it should be 8 cm long. Okay? This one was the origin, and this one um, is the final position. So, we need to draw the final resultant force right now, which is from the origin all the way to the end of the two working lines. Okay? From the origin to the other two working lines. We remember at the end of your drawing there should be three lines radiating out from the origin line. Many people make the mistake of drawing this line instead, drawing across. Okay so let's do that now. Now we have the final points and the origin point. So we need to join them from here down to the origin point. Since this final line is actually the answer that we really want, we indicate that by writing down a double arrow. Now, to get our final answer, we need to actually measure the length of the final line, or this is the resultant force. So, measuring very accurately, so I'll write down here 13 
0.8 cm. However, um, this one will not count unless you convert it into um, the force equivalent. So let's go back and check. 1 cm represents 50 newtons. So we would use our calculator. What would 13.8 cm represent? So 13.8 cm, using the scale that we previously provided, will represent 690 newtons. So we will write this down next to this line, indicating very clearly that this line represents 690 newtons. And that's our final answer when we have the force and we have the resultant force of the two lines, 690 newtons. Um, the last step is that these two lines over here, actually, um, because these are working lines, they cannot be full lines. So you will need to use an eraser to actually make these lines dashed. Only when these lines are dashed, then they will be correctly referred to as um, the two working lines. If they are full lines, you may get penalized for that part of your drawing. Okay, thank you. And that was the basics of drawing a force parallelogram.